So let's start to look at the charges tied to and charges for. The first thing what we need to do is we need to get a border template and the border template can be found on this specific link here, chargest3.com, getting started. And this link is as well in the description box. I'm going to scroll down and just copy this chunk of code here. Copy this. And then we're going to just paste that in there. And I'll just cut this out and put that in here. Save that, refresh, and there we are. So now we have this wonderful bar chart, just a basic border template. What I want to do next is start to explore the chargest documentation. And in the chart yes, documentation, we go to uh, the configurations and then we're going to select here on the title. And basically with the title, we have all of these options here, which is wonderful. So what we want to do here, first of all, is to create the title at the very top here. So how do we do this? Well, you can see here, it indicates here the namespace is in the options. Then it's a plugins or that's within the plugins object and then title. Very important here. Charges has built-in plugins and basically this built-in plugin is the title plugin. So what we're going to do is just follow along here and then in the options, we're going to put in here the space, enter, and then we're going to say here plugins and then put in your comma to make sure that for the skills it will be red. And then what we can say here, the title. By doing this, then we have here already our options. So if I save this, let's see what happens here. Basically nothing. And the reason why, by default, this plugin is deactivated. So what we want to do now is activate the plugin. So you can say here, uh, display, that's the one that we need. By default, you can see here it's a Boolean value and default it is false. So is the title shown? In this case, no. So we say here, display, and let's put in here now the value of true. The moment we do that, refresh, you can see what is happening. There is space assigned for the title, but it is missing the text. So if you're going to look at the text here, or the reason why is we need to make sure that we have a string value indicated here. The title text to display is specified as an array. The text is rendered on multiple lines. Very important. So what I'm going to do is let's grab this text and we can say here now comma, put in this here and then this is a string value we can say here our chart title save that refresh and now we have this but as you saw in the description we also have an option for an array and if we have an array of values or an array of uh, string values we will place them on or chart chest will place them on a second line or every new line so we're going to say here let's say chart and then do another one here for the title. And if I remove this, you can see here now what is happening. It is placing like a break value here and then it just goes to the next value. And that's one of these options here. So let's look at a few more options. So we have here the color and the color here, the default color of text. If you click on this, it will jump to some of these other options here. You can see the default is this hashtag triple six is like this dark grayish color. So we could change this as well. You can say a comma, you can say a color and let's change this to our other color here. Let's grab this red color here, put that in here as our new value, save this, refresh and now it changes. So what we could do as well more, let's go back here. There are some other options here as well. Position, well, full size here is pr probably something that we hardly use at all, but true. And uh, as you can see here, we'll do a certain thing based on the width of the canvas. So anyway, I'll just ignore that one because that one is probably not that common to use. So next, next we have here the position and we could change the position as well. You could say here, if I'm not mistaken, it says here top. So there's probably, if you click on this here, it will jump down to this area. Let's click on it. You can see here it jumps down and then we have here the left, right, bottom and top. All right. So what it does is basically controlling if you want to put it on top of the chart, below the chart, or basically with this is what we call the chart area. So above, below or left and right. So let's look at this. Let's say we want to put it on the left side of the chart area, save, refresh. And now it comes in here. And if we do it on the right side, save, there we are. So what we could do as well is uh, the font. And for the font here, we have some 
other options as well in the fonts object. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to click on this and let's look at that. And you can see here it will show you some other options that is also applicable to legends, the labels and probably a lot more different items. However, what is most important is we need to understand how we get there. So basically it is the font itself. Uh, let's go back here and just double check. It's font without an S. And you can see here, it really shows us like how we have to structure it. So if I go in here, comma, we can say here the font, then we don't want to say immediately bold or something, no. Then we're going to apply here. Basically this is a font object. And then here we have the weight or any other breakdown that we have, family, size, weight, line height, and style. So in this case, we can just say here, the font weight. We can make this, um, let's see what are the options here for the font weight. It is a string, uh, it calls the boldness of it. So I guess we can say here normal. And as you can see here, it starts to become normal. If I remove this, by default, it is bold. There you are. Uh, what is another option here is, I guess, what it has here is the size or the font size. Let's make this 30 pixels like that. And that's a number value. So we just put in a number Then we refresh. There we are. Let's put this on the top back. It's easier to read uh, here. Top, save, refresh. There you are. So what we could do more, let's see, is there something else that's quite interesting? The style here would indicate the font style where you have normal, italic, oblique, initial and inherit, or these are not really necessary uh, and not very common to use. Here in line height, we could do this one here as well. Let's make this two. And by doing that, we have more space between them. Let's go back here. And probably we have most of them, we have still here the padding. We can use this as well. We have the layout padding, but basically it's a padding that we can uh, break down to multiples. As you can see here, the padding itself is also an object. But if I look very carefully here and read the description, you can see only top and bottom are implemented. So left and right are not possible. So if I'm going to do here comma, I'm going to say your padding. If I do here 10 by default, it's probably do something or nothing at all. Let's remove this and remove this one as well. We don't need this. Save, refresh. And maybe there's already a default of 10. Let's look at it. Default is already on 10, my bad. So if I do this on 50, we should see here something happening. By default, top and bottom are immediately implemented. But if I only want specific, top, let's say here 20, and the bottom should be 50, save, refresh, and as you can see here, we have 20 pixels, and this here has a bigger amount of pixels, that's probably 50, so if I do this back to 10, the default, there you are. So basically, that is the core options here, um, and there's not really much more to explore in this area.